and a Global Peace Foundation Nigeria and Amaya Peace Foundation have organized a one-day workshop in Kafancha and Katuna State, Northwest Nigeria, to raise awareness about the negative impact of illicit drugs on community security and peaceful coexistence among youth and women in southern Kaduna. The aim is to combat societal menace, fueling communal crisis and conflict. Plus TV correspondent Habila Dorofe files this report. Despite the national drug policy, drug and substance abuse in Nigeria remains high, particularly in southern Kaduna. The increasing availability of our drugs has a triple effect on youth and women, leading to out-of-school children, insecurity, violence and other social vices in the society. <laughs> Nigeria's Global Peace Foundation's country director, Reverend Dr. Joseph Ayeb, emphasizes the negative impact of substance abuse on mental health and calls for the creation of economic activities for youth. Surrounding the violence in Southern Kaduna and in many parts of Nigeria, key factor uh, that is motivating young people to go into violence is drug addiction. And uh, we want, we feel we need to engage them, engage the drug addicts themselves, uh, talk with referred leaders, community leaders, and see how together we can help, how we can work with them to help them come out of drugs and to help them make meaningful use of their lives for positive things. And from the conversation today, you can see that a good number of them uh, went into drugs, not because they really want it. Some are saying out of frustration, some are saying that due to societal pressure, some are saying it due to uh, lack of job. The Northern Coordinator of the Global Peace addresses the alarming rate of substance abuse by stressing the need for a holistic approach and ordering critical stakeholders to join the fight against zero tolerance. The Southern Kaduna youth, regardless of any difference, be it religious, tribal, and ethnic, they should keep away from drug abuse because drug abuse is self-destructive. It causes one to jettison their educational pursuit. The government should do all that it can to also eradicate uh, the menace of drug abuse. Approach to peace building should be holistic. No particular group should be neglected. And what we're doing is that as we talk to people who we assume are reasonable, we must also understand that the people we claim that they are not reasonable have a role to play. They have their contribution towards finding solution to peace. Participants expressed delight in the workshop, stating it was timely and appropriate, which has transformed their narratives to benefit society. This workshop is very, very good because I've never been in a workshop like this. Like, I'm a drug, like, uh, I take drugs, you understand? So being in this kind of workshop makes me to learn a lot and I, to get myself out of drugs. This program that they did here will help me. And today I promised myself that I will not do that again. I will not take any drugs, I will not smoke, I will not drink anymore. I promised myself that I will go and tell my mother that I will be back to school. I'm smoking, I'm doing bad habits, and then I want to change. That is why I came here. Help me to stop smoking, taking anything uh, to stop my future. The foundation advocates for government, religious and traditional leaders' engagements of youth in entrepreneurship and job creation to combat substance abuse. Nigeria, with over 14 million users, should ensure full implementation of the national drug policy to regulate drug availability, supply and distribution. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.